Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to remove programs running in the background of your Windows 7 computer. So every time your computer starts up, there's a good chance you have a number of programs that are starting up with it. So this tutorial will show you guys how to hopefully speed up your startup a little bit by removing some programs that might be starting up that you don't really need to start up. And that'll be as simple as opening up the start menu and just typing in msconfig. Best match to come back with msconfig here. Just left click on that. And now you want to go to the left click on the startup tab. And now all your startup items will be listed in here. Most programs probably can be safely turned off. So especially when you're doing diagnosing of different computer issues, you might actually disable all of them and do a clean boot. And then when you turn your computer back on, it won't start up with all of these applications. I notice a lot of printer software will try and start up when your computer starts up as well. And that's generally not necessary, especially when you just turn on your printer and it will start up the service as needed. So that should definitely be able to speed up some of your time as well. Now I would not suggest turning off any antivirus or anti-malware applications. I'd recommend keeping them on. And any updater, so if you have like a Google updater or some other tool like that, you would maybe want to suggest keeping that on. But for the most part, you can really turn off most of them in here pretty safely. And then just to turn them off, just uncheck the box and then click on Apply and OK. To enable it, just check mark inside of here and then click on Apply and OK as well. And you will get a pop-up if you made any changes saying that you will have to restart your computer to make the changes effective. And that's very straightforward. You guys know how to restart your computer. So I do hope this brief video was able to help you guys out. And as always, thank you for watching, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.